Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna show you how to level up goldsmith from 1 to 320 which is the cap right now as of patch 4.06 I'm gonna show you the cheapest way possible to get goldsmith from 1 to the cap So here I am in Ulda At the jeweler Independent jeweler And uh if you don't know how to unlock goldsmith, basically when you get to level 30, you talk to this NPC here in Ulda, that he will have a quest for you. I already done it, so there is no more quest. For goldsmith, this is where I start, the independent jeweler in Ulda. What I'm gonna decent first is the brass rings of crafting. The reason I wanna do this is, at the start it gives you a lot of level ups and you can also get field craft demi materia once from this which you can sell for a lot of gil so you can even make profit at least make back what you spend on the decentest all right so let's check field craft demi materia one let's just check it quick before we start decenting just to give you an idea go to the materia section on the market board Okay, Fieldcraft Demi Material ones are in my server 14.5k each. And each of these rings cost. Let's check it again. What uh, it, it was co costing 400 something. 416. Alright, so just imagine that. Alright, let's pop the Bacon's Broth. Gives you decent up, increases the decent rate. And Tinker's Calm. Alchemist Master Recipe 2 crafts the Tinker's Calm. And Culinarian Master Recipe 2 crafts the Bacon's Broth. Both can stack, so use both. And then we start Decent Thing. As you can see, we are Decent Skill 1. We're just starting now. With the Food and Potion, we have 82.80%, so it's a good rate to start. You will fail, you might fail a lot if RNG is not on your side, but don't worry, you'll get to 100% really quick. As you see, I'm already increasing by over one skill for each decent. And the materials you get, you can put back into crafting most, more brass rings instead of buying it. Which I'm gonna just show you quick after I decent this batch. So as you can see it gives a lot of skill ups and there is a chance for Fieldcraft Demi Material one which you can sell for a lot. So our goal is not only get decent up but also do it in the most efficient way possible. I understand from my weaver guide I use some market board stuff at some point of the guide and because of my guide a lot of market boards were cleaned out. So in this one I'm gonna try to stay away from market board stuff as much as possible so that everyone can have access to everything. There is a Fieldcraft Demi Material one. So with, ju with, with only this one we already made back what we spent on the brass rings. So yeah, and I'm not lucky, usually you get more than one. Few more left. It's already 100% as you can see, we are decent skill 25 almost. Alright, and uh, the materials I got from the decentes you can put back into crafting more rings. Let's see, brass ring of crafting, there it is. You just, you can even quick synth it. I need to first craft one copy. And then you can even quick synth it and decent more of those. 
with the materials you get from the ones you buy. I should also mention the HQ that you get from Quicksand thing, the HQ rings. Check the price on your market board, it might be really good to sell. For me it's th almost 13k. So you're all with selling the HQ rings, you're already making a profit. And I got 5 Fieldcraft Demi Material ones. So I did those rings until skill 43, almost 44. Okay. So the next step is requires you to have a miner. Let's go to Upper Lanosia, Camp Bronze Lake, for the first material. We, we're gonna be decent thing Electrum Ring of Crafting. And that needs Electrum Ingots and Basilisk Waystone. So for the Electrum Ingots, let me show you the recipes. Electrum Ingots, we need Electrum Ore, which can be mined here. There is an Electrum Ore. Which can be mined here in Camp Ron's Lake. And the uh, Basilisk Waystone material can also be mined. Here is the Electrum Ores. So that's Electrum Ingot. Just showing you the material. And the next material we need is Basilisk Waystone. And to craft Basilisk Waystone we need Basilisk Eggs. Let's head over to Northern Thanalan. Either Camp Blue Fog or the other, doesn't matter. The mining nodes for Basilisk Eggs are there. So you just mine the materials and make the rings. This is one of what we're gonna be decent thing until for until it doesn't give much decent skills anymore. So the mining nodes are just south of here in North Thanala. Just around here. Around the basilisks. <laughs> so just mine these. Okay. Basilisk X and you can just quick sense the materials. It's really simple. Okay, I'm gonna show you just one example. Let's do one. So that's basically to a stone you can quick sense it. And here's the electron ring of crafting. Let me just show you one. And I'll do the rest off screen. Okay, let's let's see how much percentage we have. We have 95% with Bacon's Broth HQ. I don't have Tinker's Column. I don't need it since the rate is good enough. So a decent that. You get 0.6 around that. Wow, I got another ingot. I can do another ring. And you get the materials back. You can put back into decent thing more of them as usual. And when eventually when you quick sense them, same thing. Sell the HQ ones you get, okay? So yeah, I'm gonna be doing this until 70, until skill 70 or 60. Well, I'll see how much I'll do. I'll see how for how long they will give me skills. So yeah, I'll see you when I'm done with Electrum Ring of Crafting. Alright, I did Electrum Ring of Crafting until 69.50. Decent skill. And now we're gonna do Artisan Spectacles. You come here to, to Talon in Mordona. You go to Disciple of the Hand Artisan Gear. And Artisan Spectacles. As you can see there are a lot of ways to get the Artisan Spectacles. My preferred way is Rose Gold Cogs. You need two rose gold nuggets to craft so it's one artisan spectacles per cog and it's two nuggets per cog so we are gonna need to get the materials for the nugget and those are let's see 
go to level 50, 46 to 50 Rose gold nuggets We need gold ore And copper ore Copper ore you can buy from the vendors inside the, the In the cities or inside your housing Or the NPCs inside your housing The gold ore Either have retainer bring it for you or mine it yourself. It spawns at 9 a.m. to 12 a.m. Eorzean time. It's slot 6 in Eastern Thanalan. So we're gonna get gold ore and craft the nuggets and craft the cogs. Alright, here's the gold ore node. Spawns at 9 a.m. until 12 a.m. Gold ore is in slot 6 so Open that And use the king's yield 2 So you get more ore And just quick sense the nuggets Okay, here we buy the copper ore Material supplier inside the house Or the materials Suppliers in the cities you can quick send the nuggets. Okay, and then we craft the rose gold cocks. If you're level 60 or 70, it's pretty easy to HQ. Just build like six good inner quiet stacks, then do. Great stride innovations by the God's blessing and that should be more than enough. You can also make a macro for it if you're gonna since you're gonna do a lot of these. It's a good idea to do a macro. Alright, artisan spectacles. Then descends them. 88% without food and potion, so that's really nice. I'll just use potion, not food. Potion should be enough. Just decent them. One point thirty-six decent up. Really high decent skill up from these. One over one decent and you get rose gold nuggets back most of the time which you can use back into making more of course as usual and you can also get master craft demi materials and field craft demi materials threes from these and those save those they uh, my speculation is in 4.1 soon in a month or so we will be getting the new craftable version of yellow script gear for crafters and gatherers and the tools will need the master craft demi material and the other gear will need the field craft one so you're killing two birds with one stone here you're fa getting materials ready for next patch and you're also leveling up your decent so this is the best way to do this from level 7 from decent skill 70 to 90 I will see if it works until 90 so I'm just gonna keep doing this until 90 or until 100 preferably 90 and uh, I'll see you then okay I did the artisan spectacles until 92 and the next thing is a gate accessories so one of the materials a gate accessories need is basically squid stone and this is the same material that we needed for the electrum rings so you get those the same way and a gate same thing basically here again and you need the raw agates the raw agates are mined here in dravanian forelands right here just mine those and uh, craft really simple so I'm gonna do these agate accessories until 
Until they don't give much levels anymore, basically. Without food and potion, I have 45% decent rate, which is really good. Also, if you meld materia, any materia, it doesn't matter what grade or which materia. Just buy materia that is cheap and useless like the elemental ones that, and meld them. It will give you 5% increase in decent right. So if you wanna save gil, meld materia on top of the food and potions. We're looking at, so from food and potions that's 15%. From the meld, that's 5%, total of 20%. So uh, it will be 65%. And when you start decent thing, it will real your decent skill really goes up fast anyway. So you you will fail less. So yeah, this is the i the item I'm be I'm gonna be doing for this part of the decent. I'll just show you. Them. I'll just mass craft. Rings and I will show you. Crafted bunch of agate accessories and melded uh, one one materia to it to increase my chance. Uh, each materia you melt doesn't matter what materia. So just find cheap materia and meld it. Each materia increases decent chance by five percent. By the way, sorry if my sound echoing right now. Uh, I just moved into a new place and I have a big room now and there's not much stuff here so my sound is echoing sorry about that nothing I can do about it right now anyways here's the accessories and uh, without food and potion with one materia I have 56% let's check one without materia 47% Actually, materia is increasing a lot. I thought it was just 5%, but it's increasing a lot more. Anyways, um, let's food, pop food and potion. And decent. We were at skill. 93 yes 8 now we are with food and potion we are 81% which is nice so increase by 1.34 which is awesome <laughs> wow 85% and still botched That's RNG for you, but uh, as you succeed, you get a lot of skill ups, as you can see, and uh, really good. And as per usual, I don't decent the HQ because I can instead sell them for profit. A lot of profit at that. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a few more of these and yeah, we'll move on to the next thing. Okay, so I did the uh, agate accessories until skill 129 and the next thing is the arm regis cylinders. These things are really good, the, they are cheap to make and they give good decent skill at this level. So, easiest way for me to get Aram Regis Nuggets is from the Vath Vendor. Or you can also make it yourself by mining the materials. Those materials are... Aram Regis Sand and Gold Ore. Gold Ore, I've already shown you where to get it. Aram Regis Sand is in Sea of Clouds. Miner. And the other material is Cloud Mika Waystone. You f gather Cloud Mika in Churning Mists and that's the material. I crafted bunch of Arm Regis Cylinders, so I'm gonna do those now. F pop Food and Potion as usual. Arm Regis Cylinder, 78% to start with. Cool. 
and that look at that all right I did the uh, arm regi cylinders until 172 skill and the next thing is crafter earrings I level 180 so basically you farm red scripts if you go to your Rowena house of splendors basically find that the cheapest way for you to farm red scripts usually the carpenter stuff are cheapest at least in my server or the easiest because usually you can gather your own mats with botanist so I suggest doing carpenter for the most part when farming red scripts also the thing on the top usually gets a star so wait until you get a star Star means you will get bonus red scripts. You can craft them, but don't hand them in. Wait until they get a star. You can see time remaining. You can see in your dailies uh, until next reset, the time remaining. Rowena's House of Slendors, as you can see, 2 hours and 56 minutes remaining. That's when the, is the next reset is. And... Uh, each, each reset is random whether you get a star or not, so maybe you'll have to wait a couple days, but it's worth it in my opinion to just hand them in when they get a star. You get more scripts for your, for your work. So once you get the red scripts, you come here to this NPC in Idleshire for the script exchange. You go to Red Crafter script exchange level 58 and uh, you buy the Rowena's tokens blue crafter scripts they cost 25 red scripts each and then you come to the splendors vendor and go trade crafts gear 2 hand masters earrings these are the earrings that you we go into decent they cost three blue crafter tokens each so i'm gonna get a bunch of these and decent them they are best to do at the skill range and you also get glass fibers from them which you can s make ironworks gear and sell it or you can make thorden weapons and sell it thorden weapons sell a lot because they're really cool gla weapon glamours so i really really suggest doing this is the best way to for this level range 170 I think we can get to at least 200 with this. So you get those and let's fog food and potion as usual. And decent them. Handmaster's airing 91%, very, very nice. And you, as you can see, you get a lot of skills, 1.19. So I'm just gonna do them until at least 200. See, there is the glass fiber. So you're not only you're leveling decent, you're also making gil in the process. If you use your glass fibers to make glamour and sell the glamour weapons, Thordan weapons. And very soon you can see that you get 100% rate in decent as well. Very, very nice. So I'm just gonna do this and I'll see you then. The next, th next things we're gonna decent are the icon accessories. We need icon iron ingots and one of the materials is... Icon metals, you can get it with Poetics. If you go to Tombstones of Poetics exchange in Idleshire, other, and you can buy it here. Icon metal. Each costs 5 Poetics, really, really cheap. And the other material is Smithenite Ore. It spawns 1 am, which is almost up. Let's go. 
It spawns in Sea of Clouds. Uh, let's go to Sea of Clouds. Closer from OK Zundu. So let's go. Okay, for uh, we also need Smith Knight Ore. You can have your retainer get it if you already got some before. I'm gonna show you where to mine it and what time the, it spawns. But if you already gathered some in the past, you can have your retainer get them. Go to mining level 56 to 60. There's Smith Knight Ore. I'm gonna also show you where to mine it, at what time it spawns. And uh, then iron ore you can buy from the vendors inside the house or in the blacksmith guild. The vendor there sells it too, but the easier is from the material supplier in your house. Faster to get access to. Buy it here. So once you are able to craft the uh, ingots, now you just need opal and uh, dis and dissolvent. Depending on which type of accessory, it doesn't matter which one you do. So do the one that you feel are the easiest. Opal is really easy. It's not even a timed note. You can gather it in. You can gather raw opals in Dravanian Forlands south of Annix Trine. It's really easy to find, and yeah. Then just find which dissolvent is easiest for you to craft. The dissolvents are under 51 to 55 recipes here, right here. So just do the one that you are. Uh, that you feel is the easiest to do. I probably have some intelligence and mind ones because of Fisher 18 hour ventures. I probably have a lot of these so I'm gonna use those personally but just use, just craft the dissolvent that you feel is easiest for you and, uh, and then craft the accessory corresponding to that dissolvent. Because only the dissolvent is different from the accessories. The other two material is the same. It's the Icon Iron and the Opal. Okay, so I'm gonna craft a bunch of these. I'm gonna also show you the Smith and Knight Ore location. Okay, uh, Smith and Knight Ore have spawned. It spawns at 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. You need to have the regional folklore book in Abalathia. Minor regional folklore in Abalathia. For uh, otherwise, you can't gather it, even if you come at the right moment. And obviously, it's an unspoiled legendary note, so you need to have Truth of the Mountains active to be able to see the note. And it is in slot slot two. So let's go and get it. So every uh, real life hour you can get this note twice and that's that's guess that's gonna give you a good amount of ore. If you're leveled up enough to level yeah level 68 you can use beautiful yield too which nets you a lot of ore. I'm gonna show you Okay, here is the note. Okay. Oh, it reveals automatically since it's level 60 and under note. Okay, you do beautiful yield 2 for each gather and you get 4 of them. Which is really awesome. If you get gathering attempts plus 2 proc though, just use King Seal 2 instead. That nets you more ore. Because then you will have 7 attempts, and each attempt is actually. Actually, I think it doesn't make a difference. Anyways, there is the. There is the. Smith Knight, so now we can 
craft all of the rings and decent them, so I will see you when I decent them. Alright, let's pop food and potion and see what we got with the icon accessories that I just made. Oh, 100%? Cool. Let's, how much skill does it give? One, one point? Awesome! And you get the icon iron ingots back to make more rings. To decent. Alright, so I'm gonna do this until 2.20 at least, and I'll see you then. Okay, I did the icon rings until 2.20, and now it's time to do the trifane, trifane rings. These trifane rings. So to craft them you need trifanes and copper nickel nugget. Raw trifanes spawn at 2 a.m. and p.m. in the fringes. I'm gonna show you that node where they spawn. And copper nickel, you can just farm copper nickel sands in. If you go to rocky outcrops, you can find copper nickel sands in Girabania, Rust Rock. Just normal notes, you can gather them yourself. Trifane is the unspoiled note, uh, it's listed right here. Level 60. Oh, wait, that's what I missed. There's Rotary Fane in the fringes. I'm gonna show you the location of that. So, once you craft them, yeah, then it's just decent them. I've melded one materia into each. I have food up, and I'm gonna pop potion. And decent. Uh, leave the HQ to sell. 52% to start with, not bad. And it gives a lot of skill ups. You're gonna bot some, but don't worry. Okay, I'll see you at the node to show you that. Oh, right around here in the fringes, we have the unspoiled node for the three feints. Just like the smithonite ore, you will use beautiful yield too. Get four raw three feints each attempt. The other material to craft three fins is uh, let's go to goldsmith is steeper stones. Steeper stones are just normal gatherables. It's not a timed node, so it's easy. There it is. It's in the peaks, the rust rock. Alright, okay, the tree fame accessories went a really really long way. I did it until 262, 262 and now I'm gonna do palladium accessories. So you can buy this in the locks from the vendor, you just pick battlecraft accessories, that option, and you should be able to buy palladium chokers and meld one materia and at this level it will give 62% right and uh, that's this is what you're gonna do until 320 basically this is the end of the road so you can also mix this with when you do expert dungeons you get goldsmith drops you can decent those as well Relying on dungeon drops, it's uh, it's gonna take a much longer time to get to 320. But it's also the cheap, much cheaper than buying these accessories. However, buying these accessories might be the still the best way if if 
since you get the drops like palladium nuggets and married leather you can use this back into making other stuff and sell it so it might still be the best way but otherwise you have the option with dungeons if you want to do it with dungeons but yeah guys this and girls this is the end you just do palladium until 320 mix it up with some dungeon accessories as well so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and hope you find this helpful if you did please like favorite and subscribe if you haven't and share the video that helps me out a lot and yeah that's that's it if you want to talk to me ask any questions about the game or anything be sure to hit me up when I'm live on Twitch I I live stream almost every day there so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one bye bye and take care bye from Rem